all right guys um i just want to take this time and say um thank you you know for being there um with me and for me what else can i say you guys are awesome you know like every time i show up you 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 i mean you 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 also show up and um you know i'm i'm duly thankful for um the audience that i have and i i am also proud of you and i thank god for your life seriously i do i love you seriously i do i love you yes you i love you yes i love you you know for all the time that you you spend watching my videos and you know, all i i really you know hope it's been a blessing to you and um not sometimes i really need feedback you know sometimes it's good to get feedback from from you let me know um what you think you know nobody has monopoly over wisdom or over revelation and knowledge um but i just want to come your way real quick i want to do two live videos today this is the first one and then the second one i don't want you to miss out um four layers of revelation experience or four levels of revelation experience um but this one you know as a way to say thank you i just thought i should um come your way and bless you with this scripture which you can add to yours to your prayer point for today or as you enter into 2017 i pray that this scripture will be a blessing for you um you know well it is believed because this is not really written in the bible i just want to put that as a caveat you know that it is it is believed according to i've heard it from about two or three people who claim although it's not really written in the bible who claim that whilst Moses was fasting in the in the course of his 40 days and 40 night of fast he was translated into heaven um after the seventh day it is believed it is believed i don't want to be any like sound any controversial or whatever so i would just say it is believed that Moses was translated you know in the middle of his fast and i mean it wouldn't come to me as a shock because paul when you read acts 23:11 paul had continuous you know encounters with Jesus Christ you know like he would see Jesus and he would reveal stuff to him and so these stuff are common to God's people if you are serious with God God will be serious with you um when you get to the reason why I'm saying this is I want to just lay a foundation and when he was caught up God showed him the patterns of the tabernacle or his house or the church that he was supposed to build as of that time and so when you get to the book of Hebrews Hebrews 8:5 I read from the NKJV Um it says that who saved the copy and shadow of the heavenly things as Moses was divinely instructed pay attention as Moses was divinely instructed when he was about to make the tabernacle for he said see that you make all things according to the pattern shown you on the mountain shown you on the mountain that means that you know the design the layout the prototype of the church god actually showed it to moses like specifically it should be this cubit high this cubit tall the length you know go grab this person i have gifted him with this knowledge like you know to the very nitty gritty of it i will take it again hebrews 8:5 hebrews 8:5 hebrews 8:5 who saved the copy and shadow of the heavenly things as moses as Moses was divinely instructed when he was about to make the tabernacle for he said see that you make all things according to the pattern according to the pattern according to the pattern shown you on the mountain and so as we forge forward or as we are about entering into into 2017 i hope that this will be a blessing for you in the sense that you ask god specifically show me a pattern of 2017 or my 2017 in my marriage in my family at my workplace in my ministry in my business any area you find yourself i want details give me or show me the pattern for my life or even in the next 20 years in the next 50 years you know even in the lives of my posterity my own born generations show me a pattern i don't want to do things my own way and let her on regret so you show me the pattern for my life you know and i believe that will help that 
will make you know the will of God for your life so you don't miss the mark. Because when you know the will of God for your life, you know, you, you enter into his rest. Not that you don't work, but you know what you are doing and so you don't get distracted easily or you don't get distracted at all because you know the specifics. And so as you go to your 31st vigil or watch night, you pray, God, show me the pattern, you know, unveil, reveal the pattern of my life, you know, specifically, I want specific, reveal the pattern, the pattern of my life, reveal the patterns of my business, you know, this thing that I want to do, this thing that I've set my heart to do, I've planned as a new year resolution, show me the pattern, show me the pattern, I, I, I pray that this will be a blessing for you. I want to end with this. I was reading this book by um, Smith Wigglesworth. You know, we learn from the best, you know. And um, at one point, he would say that there were times that um, during revivals and stuff like that, before he prays for some people, he would see the hands of Jesus go ahead of him. And that caught my attention. And sometimes he would say that he'll be praying like at dawn, and then he would see the face of Jesus Christ too. So, you know, I read that, uh, I think, a couple of months ago, but on the um, 17th of this month, I was driving to work, and then suddenly I just, you know, conceived this divine thought that this thing that you read, you should actually apply it to your life. And so I also want to, you know, as a good friend, I want this to bless you, that if he saw the hands of God go ahead of him, and that was how come he was able to do all those healings and stuff like that, then as you go to church today or even before you go because i believe in finishing before entering into it you actually have to finish the year 2017 in your closet in your secret place you have to finish it you have to end it before you actually enter into it you know and so i hope that this will be a blessing to you you just lift up your hands and say god i thank you because you love me just the way i am you love me so much and because you've loved me You've actually granted me all things, all things that pertains to godly living, you know, and righteousness. You've already given it to me, even before I ask, you know. You even gave it to me before I was even born, everything. And so I pray that may your hands go ahead of me in 2017. And that means that whatever I touch in 2017, it will be fruitful. It will yield results. It will be prosperous. Not just that I pray that may your eyes go ahead of me in 2017 um, a good scripture to back this will be Ephesians 1 18 which says that that the eyes of the understanding will be enlightened and so I pray that God you will enlighten my eyes there was actually the eyes of his understanding that's actually like a third eye I activate the eyes of your understanding you know what it takes or it means to see through the eyes of Jesus Christ like <laughs> You know, it will make you like so different. Your everything will be like you know different. And so, God, may your eyes go ahead of me. I activate the anointing of a seer. May your eyes go ahead of me. I see beyond what others don't see. I see thousands of years ahead. If you tarry, I see 15 years ahead. I see 10 years ahead. I see two years ahead. May your eyes go ahead of me, Jesus. I also pray that may your ears. May your ears, may your ears go ahead of me. And so that means that I'm hearing things that people are not hearing. I'm hearing, you know, blueprints for my businesses, blueprints for my ministry, blueprints for everything that I'm doing. I'm hearing stuff. I'm hearing your voice, the voice of God, your voice of God. And may your feet, may your feet go ahead of me as well. May your feet go ahead of me as well. That means that you've made my feet like that of a deer. Or that of an ego, I can tread on every height, every height, every height, every height. And most importantly, I pray that, no, before this one, I pray that, I, and I activate your mind, the mind of Jesus Christ, to think differently. And most importantly, I activate your heart. You know, when you read the scriptures, and he was moved, and he had compassion, the spirit of compassion, I activate the spirit of worship, the spirit of worship, let every day, be a day of worship in 2017 whether you are working or not you just cock in you know soaking some good worship you, you, you keep banging you know as we're working awesome so i hope this will be a blessing for you um happy new year and 
um, I love you and thank you for being there, for being a faithful audience. I'll come your way with four levels or layers of revelation experience soon. God bless you, and I'll see you in a flash. All right, say it, bye. Happy New Year.